sort of milk that a bit longer. I haven't had an applause like that since I fell over at Aston Villa. <laughs> uh, my name's Kevin. Obviously, I was born a middle-aged accountant. That's why it's named Kevin. Uh, yeah, so someone said, like, Kev, do you want to sign up and do stand-up comedy in cancer research? Like, yeah, anything for a free T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. um, but then I thought, fuck, why well, can't I think of anything? So what I've done is I've just stole all my girlfriend's material. So it's five minutes of me talking about growing up as a girl in Cheshire. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... So, um, you've got me for a few minutes, so you're going to learn about me. I like to walk, you know, like, not hike. I don't want to go up a mountain with a fucking oxygen tank on my back. For fun. What? That is not fun. I like to walk pub to pub. You know? <laughs> my, my dad says I have alcoholic constipation because I can't, I can't seem to pass a pub. <laughs> you see, you're laughing. I didn't find that too funny, him talking about my, uh, my bowel movements. So, uh, I thought, well, I need to get a bit of revenge on this guy. So what I did was, <laughs> for about a week, I put Imodium in his coffee. <laughs> and every time he took something to counteract what he didn't realise was Imodium, I put more in. <laughs> yeah, revenge is sweet. But, yeah, but, um, yeah I do like walking. Uh, it is fun. <laughs> You're pissed. Uh, but it got me thinking, like, sometimes we take things like, the ability to walk for granted. And I like watching the Paralympics and the recent Winter Olympic Games, and it just made me think, you don't need legs to be a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but don't get me wrong, not all, not all para-athletes are like Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> They're not all from South Africa. But um, no, other things I like. I have a child. I like him. He's all right. Uh, I also like sports. As you can see, I'm an avid watcher of sports. I have the physique of a statistician. And I just reel off loads of random shit that no one really cares about Moroccan and their good defense, whatever. Uh, but then they say, Kev, you've even played sport. I was like, yeah, I did, actually. I scored a goal in the year six football match. It was a cracking goal. I don't care if I was a ref. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I did like that one. But, uh, you know, all the sports tonight. Darts, it's a good sport. You get to drink beer. That's a good one. Um, what else do I like? Uh, apparently, this bit, I, I don't really understand social groups. Apparently, I'm a hipster. Now, I don't know what hipsters are, really. I have a beard, I like food, but the idea of paying £5.50 for avocado on toast is just not for me. No, thank you. But um, my sister, however, she, she understands these social groups. When she was younger, she was a tomboy. Then she went through the rock stage, you know, with the, the makeup and the emo, so she was miserable for a long time. Uh, <laughs> then the chav stage, you gets me fan. <laughs> Rotted. Uh, and then about 18 months ago, she jumped on this latest bandwagon, the transgender thing. Yeah, yeah. She's been wearing a mum's strap on for about 18 months now. Yeah. I never thought in a million years my sister, Derek, would be standing next to me in a urinal having a sword fight. Yeah. Well, uh, this has been fun, this has. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, there's someone that couldn't be here tonight, and that's my dad. Uh, because I said, Dad, do you want to come tonight? He went, no, not really, son. I don't, don't, don't really find you that funny. <laughs> I think we know what's going in his coffee tomorrow, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been great. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night.